I speak fast and I'm short, but now there's lunch ahead. So I think I'm mindful that uh, I have to finish quickly. Uh, having said that, I have a few points to make. I normally make simple points, make them quickly. But uh, obviously what I believe are strong points. Uh, so what was given to me was uh, where the topics is battle for live viewing, but I was told about live sports and what do live sports bring to the streaming arena. That was what was said to me. And I think that's a great opportunity. Live sports, in a way, will drive CTV growth, and I'll explain to you why. So numbers, CTV, I've come in just now, but I'm sure in the morning they'll discuss numbers. Numbers are huge, whatever, 30 million, 35 million, whatever numbers people talk about, there is no definitive source for uh, numbers in this country. Hopefully, in the next six, seven months, we'll get there. But uh, whatever the numbers, it's growing. And I genuinely believe that uh, CTV will grow on the back of live sports. It's a very simple thing to say, an obvious thing to say. I heard these gentlemen speaking before, and they're absolutely right that, you know, the advantage of uh, OTT and Kennedy TV is that it's asynchronous in the manner of speaking. You can watch whatever you want, wherever you want, discover whatever you want. But that, that, that's a big advantage. But that also has a downside. The downside is that you cannot measure easily because it's all very fragmented, it's all very narrow, you know, and it's very difficult to uh, capture what it is. So I think live sports is a, has a different meaning altogether. Live sports has two, uh, two big advantages. It's concurrent viewing because it's live, so everyone wants to watch at the same time. People, people want to be there, you know, so they're seeing an IPL game will be seen together. You're not going to see it delayed, and that's one. Or most of you will see it live. And the second, second is sport is uh, watched in a manner of speaking. There's, there's, you know, sport is not just watching, it's also discussing. So the families watch it together, friends watch it together. So there is concurrent viewing in that sense also. So I think live sports to that extent have a great advantage because they give you reach, they give you an excitement, they give you engagement, whatever, whatever metrics you want come there. And that is what will drive growth of the medium, in this case, uh, CTV. Of course, it depends a lot on how the rights go. You know, rights are something which uh, today they've been started being bundled separately. And I'm not an expert, but uh, even otherwise, I'm sure people know. So first, there were rights were common, TV and digital rights, then they started being separate. And maybe a time will come when even digital rights will break up into uh, connect TV rights. Maybe connected rights will get bundled with uh, TV or not, that time will tell. So in my mind, uh, live sport definitely will drive the growth of connected TV audiences. Just now, connected TV audiences are to a great extent premium homes in India. Uh, you see only premium homes coming in. But over a period of time, this will spread because sports is an equalizer. Sports don't understand a uh, rich home and a poor home. It goes all the way through. So people, it's, it's, it's excitement of watching live sports. So I think live sports will, I keep circling back, will keep, will ensure that there is, it will drive the growth of uh, CTV, stroke OTT, whichever you look at it. That's, so that's as far as, uh, as far as growth of CTV is concerned. Now, sports in this country, now coming to sports specifically, you know, in this country has huge headroom. So if you see the viewership of sports uh, in India, and you see sports all over in developed markets, you find that the uh, share of uh, viewership in terms of ratings or whatever, share of audiences is far higher. So India is about 7-8% or so. And in spite of all the hula, hoopla around the IPL, it's only 7-8% of total viewership, maybe less. Uh, all over the world, it's a lot more. So you'll find sports, and I say this the reason why uh, the headroom is more, so today, finally, this whole business is funded by advertising primarily in this country. And uh, for advertisers to find segments is very difficult. You know, so when they look at IPL, you have large mainstream players, whether they're on CTV or they are on uh, linear TV. So you find, or on digital. So you find there's a fair mirror. If you see advertising revenues coming in, uh, you know, it's almost like people are hedging their bets. They're saying, okay, if I'll be on uh, uh, linear, I'll also be on uh, HD because most homes today in India are, uh, and the connected TV homes, there are very few quad cutters. As a percentage, probably quad cutters will be only 20%, rest of them are, but they have both linear and uh, 
connect your TV. So we don't know where to catch the audience. So there's no clear, sharp audience definition at this point in time. So people say, listen, you see the big brands. You see, so I'm talking from some of my advertisers. They won World Cup. Mahindra was there. Phone Pay was there. You know, they'd always say, okay, let's do live TV. Let's do connected TV. So there's no possible clear segmentation for brands and for clients. And this is my audience. This is where I want to go. I think that opportunity will come with sports. So because CTV allows you uh, measurement, third party I'll come to in the end, third party suspect at this point in time, but yes, measurement definitely. It allows you measurement, so you can start reading segments. You say, listen, I genuinely believe today a lot of people are watching what ostensibly mass TV calls niche sports. So EPL or uh, Formula One or tennis, you name them. There is a sizable segment of people who watch, but uh, in, the, in the way we measure audiences, and as you know, I also do a part-time job of, or rather, I do a full-time job of running uh, the chair of Bach. So I think uh, there's a flaw with the way we measure, and I come to that uh, in the end. So you find that, you know, these, these niche sports, as we call them niche, don't get their fair due because there's lack of measurement. And as a result, finally, if you go to a client and say, listen, I think a client of mine, Amul, does EPL, they say, we're doing it because you say so. The hunch is that, but the numbers don't show. I'm sure if you start looking at slicing and dicing audiences and you start looking at connectivity audiences and those homes, uh, it'll make a lot of sense, you know? So that's the other big advantage. The third thing is a hypothesis. Well, it's not really a hypothesis. I've seen some data that uh, today in a lot of premium homes, especially amongst men, uh, there is a propensity to be light viewers. So, you know, so today the classical definition would be we would define by demographics and stuff like that. But if you look at uh, consumption of content, uh, particularly on television, whether it's linear or uh, connected TV, you find that there are heavy medium light users and the propensity of men being light or light users, let me turn it around, uh, light users being more men, chances are very high. And those are becoming elusive audiences. So categories like automobiles, financial products, even today while women and families play a major role in automobiles, but the primary decision maker may still be a male. And you find live sports, you know, in these kind of niche, not everyone can afford an IPL. So I think uh, with, if there is possibility of, uh, you know, ensuring that we capture the right segments and measure them, you will find that there is a huge uptake possible. So I think the point is that sports has the, f uh, has the opportunity of living up to its full potential because of the way Canadian TV is growing in this market. It's a circular relationship. So sports will ensure Canadian TV grows. And because the way uh, quality will grow, sports will ride on the back of that. So it will be circular and hopefully it will, so just now what we see, Canadian TV homes being premium, my hypothesis is it will go all the way down, uh, especially with a lot of, uh, lot of uh, platforms being free. So I think uh, that's going to be uh, the future. Finally, Finally, I must talk a little bit about uh, the measurement. Like I kept saying, there is today a lack of third-party measurement, uh, which we, you know, which we're seeing. And uh, while, all, and as a result, in the enthusiasm, uh, people sell all kinds of numbers. So someone says 20 million TV homes, someone says 30 million TV homes, 40 million, whatever. Last I heard was someone saying 70 million homes. No one talks of what their numbers are. Yes, I know on live sports you see something around the ticker on the background on what the numbers are, whether it's only connected TV or whether it's digital plus connected TV, it's handled or what, it's, there's lack of clarity. So I think third party measurement is critical and in spite of all what people say about Bach, the other day Exchange for Media did a debate on pros and cons of Bach and I'm told the, the cons were a lot more than the pros, that's a hurt. But having said that, there's still a modem of sanctity to the numbers are put out. And we at Bach are doing something which I think will be uh, dramatic. Uh, we are creating a premium panel. A premium is the word I'm using. The name has not been defined. Uh, our tech chair Vikram will finalize everything. But to give you a broad construct, we've spoken about it. But I think it'll have maximum impact for CTV and especially for sports. So uh, overall CTV. So what we're doing is, you know, uh, the first one big lacuna with Bach, most people don't um, probably don't realize, they, if, you, if I explain, they understand is that, you know, when we launched Bach, we launched Bach on the back of uh, this NCCS classification. And what's happened is NCCS classification has become very wide. That NCCS A, it, you know, it's on, it's on uh, durable ownership. 
So it's, it's become very, very wide. So there are many, many people. So between A and B, 60% of the country is covered. And A itself is very wide. So chances are CTB will be a small subset of NCCSA. So you're working at ways of looking at redefining it. Market Research Society of India has come out of the new classification. BAC is still not adopted because the stakeholders are yet to be aligned. But it's a slightly more discriminatory uh, classification. Be that may, that's one part. The second part is that, you know, uh, and again, no, no, it was not in intentional, but large broadcasters, large advertisers wanted individual level data. So when you wanted individual level data, you had to, as the global trend was, that you put a meter at the home, but you also ensured that there was, uh, you know, how do you track individuals? So you gave a remote, and on the remote, each one, when they walked into the home, they had to press. Now, it sounds very simple, but it's not so simple because, you know, what are the chances a person will press when he's entering? What are the chances he'll press when he's exiting? So we have created all kinds of devices, I'm told. We create sounds and all to trouble him to press, but that's a part. Uh, I think chances are premium homes like this, chances are anyone in this audience will not allow a meter to be installed in his home because uh, you won't want to go through the hassle of pressing buttons for 500 bucks a month or whatever we pay. So we are cracking all that. What we are doing is, Bach has developed uh, in set meters which we'll install in homes. We have already ordered. We're doing a pilot with some 5,000, 6,000 meters. We put them out. And then uh, we're also doing a sampling of CTV homes. What do you think are estimate? Because there's no real estimate which exists. And hopefully in six months time, so we will, don't, we will do household level data. We will not do individual uh, data. So we'll install homes, uh, install those meters at premium homes. And hopefully by September, October, maybe slightly later, uh, we should have measurement of uh, premium homes. Now, whether they're watching linear, whether they're watching uh, CTV, what are they watching? And that's why I think a lot of IPL, of course, you know. IPL, you know, is very big. World Cup, you know, cricket is very big. But a lot of other sports or a lot of other content will uh, get captured. So I think it's a great move because uh, at this point in time, it builds advertisers' confidence that you know, there is real numbers. Uh, it's not small niches uh, which people talk about. So hopefully that will give a big fillip to the entire premium audience business, whether they watch on HD, whether they watch on CTV, or whatever they watch on, you know. Uh, that's where we are. So I thought that, you know, since I was told about sports, though it's not mentioned here, live sports, I genuinely believe that uh, this whole thing will feed the ecosystem. So like I said, live sports will feed CTV, CTV will feed live sports, and this virtuous cycle will go on. And hopefully, uh, we will, Bach will have a role to play, and hopefully we'll get some kudos for, uh, for something which you do. It's all hoping in the future. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your lunch.